Hey, I'm Evan, and here's what's new for you in Planning Center. Today I have for you Calendar's event request forms. These forms are all about gathering information on the front end so that your management can be smooth and organized on the back end. You can use these forms with your volunteers, your congregation, your staff, really anybody, uh, to make sure anything important going on at your church actually makes it onto your calendar. Now there's a couple of different places you can make forms inside a planning center, and each one specializes in something a little different. For Calendar, it's all about streamlining the event creation process, as well as giving you a little more control over which events make it in and which ones don't. So let's look at what a completed form uh, looks like. All right, they'll show up here on Church Center, which if you're not familiar, Church Center is the congregant facing side of Planning Center, the public facing side, as opposed to the administrative side, which is like Calendar, where you'd go to create and manage things. All right, they'll come here and they'll fill out all these fields and they'll hit submit and their job is done and your work begins. All right, I'm gonna head over to the forms page, which I have open in another tab. All right, in calendar, head to events and the forms tab and you'll see all of your active forms here. You can see this one has a pending request, so let's click into it. From here, you can see all the pending requests. This, this is anything that's come in as a submission from this form. And just by clicking here, you can go and manage the rooms and resources and times, as well as communicate with the person who submitted the request. But that's not what we're here to do today. Today, we're talking about setting up a form. So let's head over to the settings tab. All right, when you create a form, you've got to assign an owner, some tags, and an approval group. This is because any submission that comes in actually creates an event and calendar, so we need to make sure the right person is in charge of it, the right tags are applied so your calendar stays organized, and then this is the approval group that can determine whether this event can actually happen or not. A form can be open or closed, and then over here is where you can grab the URL to share it with people. All right, let's talk about fields. Head over to the fields tab. And this is where you can ask any custom questions that you need that are gonna help you manage this event. Basic fields you should be familiar with from just general interneting. Uh, check boxes, drop down, number field. Let's grab one and drag it in. And you can say expected attendance. Thanks, autocorrect. We'll say 50, make it required. And now anyone who fills out this form is gonna to have to answer this question. But the real power of calendar is being able to book rooms and resources for your events. That means making sure that the things you need to pull this event off are actually gonna be ready and available for you when the time comes. The way forms help with that is with the event template field. Now, if you're not familiar with event templates and calendar, you should be. I've got event templates open in another tab here. I'll click over to that. So an event template is any collection of rooms and resources, a location, and tags that you want it to be. You can use this for small events where you're just having meetings and you don't want to click the same room and chairs over and over again. You just make a template for that. Or it can be for large events like sporting events and weddings where you're using lots of rooms and resources and you don't want anything to fall through the cracks. So go get your uh, event templates all set up and then we'll head back over to the forms tab. And from here, I can drag in the event template field and I can say, what type of event is this anyway? And then I can select which templates are available for this form. So we'll pick youth and adult sports. So these templates use different rooms. They happen in different places. So whenever someone fills out this form and they select one of these, it's going to go ahead and queue up those rooms and resources for you to manage in the submission. Oh my gosh, if you guys start using event templates and request forms, it's going to supercharge your calendaring. It's going to save you so much time so that you won't be clicking around the calendar admin and you can go and get a cup of coffee and some donuts or something. So that's what's new for you in Planning Center. To see what else is new across all of our products, head over to planningcenter.com. <laughs>